Today we are going to discuss about the anatomy of trachea. So trachea is also called a windpipe and it transports the air to and from the lungs. It extends from larynx into thorax and terminates inferiorly as dividing into right and left main bronchi. In the neck it is covered by the isthmus of thyroid gland which act as a shield about 10 to 15 cm in length and its, its external diameter measures about 2 cm in males and about 1.5 cm in females. The lumen is smaller in the living than in the cadaver. It is about 3 mm at 1 year of age. During childhood, it corresponds to the age in years with a maximum of about 12 mm in adults. It increases 1 mm per year up to 12 years. The end of the trachea lies at the lower border of the cricoid cartilage opposite the six cervical vertebra. In cadaver, its lower bifurcated and lies at the lower end of the fourth thoracic vertebra. Whereas in the living subject, in the erect posture, the bifurcation lies at the lower border of the six thoracic vertebra and descends still further during inspiration. Let's see the structure of the trachea. It has a fibroelastic wall supported by the cartilaginous skeleton formed by C-shaped rings about 16 to 20 in number. Posteriorly, there are gaps between the rings which are spanned by the fibroelastic membrane and a transversely arranged smooth muscle called trachealis. Its lumen is lined by the ciliated columnar epithelium and contains many mucus and serous glands. Let's see the relations of trachea. First of all, we know that it is related anteriorly to some structures, posteriorly to some structures and right and left to some structure. So let's see anteriorly it's related to the sternothyroid muscle, manubrium sterni, paratracheal lymph nodes, left common carotid artery, left brachiocephalic artery, arch of the aorta, deep cardiac plexus, brachiocephalic artery and remains of the thymus. Posteriorly it is related to the esophagus and vertebral column. To the, to the right it is related to the azygous vein, right vagus and right lung with its pleura. And to the left, it is related to the left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery, left vagus nerve and the left recurrent laryngeal nerve as well as the left lung with its pleura. See the blood supply and lymphatic drainage. It is supplied by the inferior thyroid arteries and venous drainage is through the left brachiocephalic vein. And lymphatic drainage of trachea is by the pretracheal lymph nodes and the paratracheal lymph nodes. Let's see the nerve supply of the trachea. It has the parasympathetic nerve supply and sympathetic nerve supply. Parasympathetic nerve supply is through the vagi and recurrent laryngeal nerve. This parasympathetic nerve supply is sensory and skeletomotor to the mucous membrane. However, it is motor to the trachealis muscle. Sympathetic nerve supply is from the middle cervical ganglion and it is vasomotor.